we're doing. So, I'm currently in my garden. So excuse any noises and the laundry that's on the washing line currently as well. But unfortunately, it's just the way things are. But I'm here to share with you um, my three to four season sleeping bag, which I use. I've had it for just over a year. I love it. it keeps me toasty and warm. And it is that, the Rab Ascent 1100. So let me get it out of its compression sack and I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's all about. Okay, so when you buy the bag, it comes with a compression sack and it also comes with a storage sack as well, which is a fairly decent one, cotton storage sack. Um, it's fairly large, but I'll show you at the end as I put the thing away. Standard compression sack. You can compress this down even more, um, but just because I like to look after the bag, you know, you don't want to compress down for too long um, or too much either. So this is fairly standard. It's got a little bit of wiggle room in there as well, so you can mold it inside your bag. But this is how I'm ha fairly happy with the size of this, consider considering it's a winter sleeping bag. Okay, let's get it out. Alright guys, so I've just taken the sleeping bag out of its compression sack. I've just plumped it up a little bit to loft it back up in case any of the down inside the bag was still compressed. A little bit about the down inside this bag. It is a hydrophobic down which means it's being treated in case it gets wet. Um, I think they've partnered up with Nick Wax to provide that. Um, which, you know, Nick Wax is quality when it comes to waterproofing materials. So the Ascent range that Rab provide, you've got the Ascent 700, the Ascent 900 and the Ascent 1100. And it just means the amount of down that's actually in the bag itself, gram for gram. So you've got 700 grams in the Ascent 700, 900 grams in the Ascent 900 and 1100 grams in the Ascent 1100, which is the one we're looking at today, which means this is the warmest out of those bags. The down itself is 650 fill power in a nutshell, fill power just relates to how much air the down can trap in and keep you warm. So the higher the fill power, the warmer you're going to be. 650 is pretty middle of the range, to be honest, but it's perfect for sleeping bags. So I won't worry too much about trying to get that any higher, unless you go into extreme weathers. The temperature this thing goes down to, it says, is minus 25. Now that sounds excessive for the UK, as we, we very rarely go over minus 7, minus 8 in the extreme weathers. Obviously, if you go up to Scotland, it changes a little bit there. But um, my friend recently went to Norway. I say recently. He went to Norway uh, at the start of this year. So it was absolutely freezing. He said the temperatures were going down to minus 18. And he said, compared to everybody else and what bags they had, this thing was the best. And it, he said it saved his life. Well, I don't know about that, but I know it was a decent sleeping bag for him to take. And uh, he, he, he came back with, with a lot of praise for it. Now I've never actually tested the, the bag down to minus 18 like Tom has. I've only tested it down to say minus five, minus six at the most. I can't really tell because I was asleep at the time, but I know it was bitterly cold. But the bag was perfectly fine, it kept me lovely and warm. I didn't overheat either. So despite the fact, you know, you might think it goes down to minus 25, I don't need that. It's not necessarily gonna cook you alive. It just means you've got a broad range of temperatures in which the bag will protect you from. Um, so if you're looking at maybe going away to somewhere like Norway or any other cold areas of the world This bag will probably do you well in terms of the cost of this bag. I bought it for 200 quid last year um, I know that's a really good price to be honest for this bag I think the RRP is about 310 you can probably pick it up for about 240 250 currently from looking online um, And that's still a lot of money. I understand that but it's a bag that I never want to replace it's meant to be a bag that i'm always going to use for winter camping if i can look after it if i store it right i know it's a good brand it, i'm never gonna to have to replace this bag as, as long as i make sure it's looked after all right so i'm just going to bring you a little bit closer so you can see some of the details of the bag okay so if we start with the hood it's fairly straightforward really you've got a down filled hood to keep your head nice and warm you've got a thick baffle here which you can tighten up with a pull cord. I'll just make sure I get the right one, which is the one inside here. You've got two pull cords inside, one for the hood and the neck area, 
and you've got one for the baffle inside so you can keep your body nice and warm with your head sticking out. So if you tighten up the baffle like that, okay, so as you can see, that's the baffle there, that's where your neck will come through there, nice and tight and nice and snug and you do this with the hood as well <laughs> and you can essentially just have your nose sticking out, eh? But um, that keeps you nice and toasted no matter what temperatures you're, you're exposed to. So this sleeping bag has a zip on the left hand side. Uh, let me just remove the flap here. That is secured there by a Velcro circle. Nice and neat, doesn't rub on your face when you're asleep. The zip is a YKK zip. I mean, I'm not a zip fanatic, but I know they're a good zip. Anti-snag, anti-pull, anti-break, whatever you like. It's a good zip. It's a three quarter zip that goes all the way down to near the box of your feet. And inside, it's got a lovely, comfortable red lining. And I say it's comfortable. I have had some good night's sleeps in this bag, I promise you. I'm six foot two, and uh, I don't know the length off the top of my head. I don't have, I've measured it for this video, unfortunately. But as a, six, a person that's six foot two, it is definitely roomy enough and wide enough for me to shuffle around and feel comfortable without feeling too claustrophobic. Okay, so I'm gonna pack this down now, but just before I do, I just wanna quickly talk about the material which the outside's made from. It is Pertex Quantum. The material is designed so that if you get a bit of condensation on it, it's not going to be a problem. But if you leave it out in the rain, you might have a bit of a problem. Um, but it's a good material. Yeah, I haven't found it snagged or anything. There's no stitching coming out of it. It's very well made. Um, the overall weight of this sleeping bag, which is quite important, I suppose, is 1,725 grams, which for a winter sleeping bag isn't too bad at all. Um, I know if you look at OEX sleeping bags, they're a little bit heavier, a little bit bulkier. Especially if you go up like your Arctic Army sleeping bag, I think they're like 2.4 kilograms and they're twice, if not three times the size of this thing. But it, they are only about 40, 50 quid. But that's the price you pay, I suppose, for something a bit more convenient, a little bit more, and it goes down to a lot colder temperatures, this bag as well. I think it's worth the investment, especially over winter. You don't want to be cold for any reason whatsoever. And say anything else fails with your kit, you can just get in your sleeping bag and stay warm until the morning. So yeah. I love it. I'd definitely recommend buying one if you've got the cash spare. But um, if you've got any questions at all, or if I've missed anything out as well, just leave them in the comments section below. If you keep it in this bag, nice and safe, somewhere dry, out the way of any moths and insects and that kind of jazz and mice, then uh, you should have a bag for life, a true bag for life. All right, so as you can see, in its storage bag, it's pretty uh, it's pretty lofted. It's about five times the size of what it was when it was compressed. That should keep it nice and safe. Got a nice pull string at the top here. I've noticed you've also got a strap at the bottom if you wanted to hang it anywhere and keep it safe that way. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, always just give us a comment or a like at the bottom. It'd be very